Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this text match cut effect in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. The first step is to search for any topic related to your interest. Take your time to conduct a thorough search and capture several screenshots of valuable information or inspiring visuals related to your chosen subject. Ensure each screenshot is saved separately for easy access later. Once you have gathered all your images, the next step is to import them into Premiere Pro, where you can begin your project. This process will allow you to seamlessly integrate your visuals into your creative work. All right, as you can see, we have imported all the images inside the project panel. Next, let's select all the images and then right click on any of them. After that, click on speed and duration. Here, I'm going to make each image duration four frames longer and then click on OK. In the next step, we need to drag and drop all the images onto the timeline. Now you can see each image duration is four frames longer. Lastly, we have to make the last image slightly longer than the others. This adjustment will help to enhance the visual flow of our project at the end of the sequence. In the following step, let's move the time indicator to the first image. Now let's move over to the view panel and then we have to enable the snap and program monitor option. After that, let's select the rectangle tool, which you can find here. Next, we have to draw a box on the program monitor, something like this. And then we can switch over to the selection tool by clicking on this icon. In the next step, let's move over to the effect controls panel and then click on the drop down menu of the shape settings. Firstly, I'm going to disable the fill color and we have to enable the stroke color. Also, we have to select any color for the stroke thickness. After that, let's make the stroke thickness value around 5, and then we have to position the shape to the center with that guideline. Next, we have to zoom in on the program monitor. In the following step, we have to select the first image and go over to the effect controls panel. Now let's proceed to fine tune the scale and position of the image. This adjustment is essential in order to align the image with the exact location of our shape, ensuring that they match as closely as possible. All right, as you can see on the program monitor, this is the exact location of the image for the shape. Next, select the graphic layer and we need to disable the stroke thickness and we have to enable the fill color. Also, so we have to select a fill color. Next, let's find the opacity panel and then click on the drop down menu of the blend mode property. After that, we have to select the multiply mode from the list. Now you can see both the highlighted shape color and the text are clearly visible. Additionally, there is an option to slightly modify the shape to suit your preferences. In the next step, let's move the time indicator to the second image. In the same way, you have to adjust the scale and position of the image. Make sure to repeat this adjustment process for all images to maintain uniformity throughout your project. All right, now we are done. Let's fit the program monitor as default. After that, I'm going to decrease the duration of the graphic layer. With these couple of steps, we have completed 50% of the text match cut effect. All right, it's time to add stunning 3D screen animation. That's why we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. Now let's drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the timeline in video layer three. And then we need to go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a basic 3D effect. Let's double click to apply the effect. Again, we have to apply another effect. This is a transform effect. Let's double click to apply the effect. And then let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Next, from the basic 3D effect, now we need to create keyframes for the swivel and the tilt parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now let's make the swivel parameter value around seven. And then we need to make the tilt parameter value around negative 25. Also, we have to make the distance to image parameter value around negative 23. After that, we have to move the time indicator a few frames forward. Now let's make the swivel parameter value around negative 3.5. And then we need to make the tilt parameter value around negative seven. After that, we need to improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframes and then select ease in. After that, let's right click on the first keyframes and then select ease out. Lastly, let's move these two keyframes to the end position of the adjustment layer. Now we have to customize the transform effect. Firstly, we have to create keyframes for the position parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. And then let's make the Y position parameter value around 262. And then let's move the first keyframe to the beginning of the adjustment layer. After that, let's create another keyframe with the Y position parameter value around 347.5. Also, we can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe and then select ease in. Next, let's right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. Next, move the second keyframe to the end position of the adjustment layer. Lastly, we have to make the scale parameter value around 112. All right, now we are almost done. With these couple of steps, we have created this text match cut effect and stunning 3D screen animation. In the next step, we need to incorporate the text match cut sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience.
In the last step, I am going to animate the highlighter shape. That's why let's disable the third video layer. And then we have to select the graphic layer. After that, we need to go over to the effect controls panel and select the shape layer. Next, we have to zoom in on the program monitor. I plan to create an animation that will move the rectangular shape smoothly from the left side of the screen to the right. That's why let's move the anchor point to the left side of the rectangle shape. Next, we need to find the transform control panel of the rectangle shape. After that, we need to disable the uniform scale by clicking on this box. Now we need to create keyframes for the horizontal scale parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. We can easily control the length of the shape by using the horizontal scale parameter. In this case, I'm going to make the horizontal scale parameter value around zero. Now let's move the first keyframe to the beginning of the graphic layer. After that, we need to make sure the time indicator is at the very end position of the graphic layer. And then we have to make the horizontal scale parameter value around 100. Lastly, we can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe and then select ease in. Next, let's right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. Lastly, we have to enable the video layer 3 and we need to fit the program monitor as default. All right, now we are done. In this way, you can create a text match cut effect and stunning 3D screen animation in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.